I am Christine Pellerin, Lead Engineer of Radio Frequency Safety. Well, I started in the high-tech sector, so I already knew when I heard that D&D was hiring for engineers, I was already familiar with the corporate culture associated with D&D, associated with the armed forces, and so I knew it would be a good fit for my own personality. First of all, we do not determine what is safe and what is unsafe. We are determining compliance. There is a guideline put out by Health Canada called Safety Code 6. And so what they do is they establish what is the safe level for the energy coming off of radars, coming off of antennas, uh, radios, and they determine how far you have to be away from certain types of energy. And so what we do is we're going around and we're verifying that we are respecting those guidelines put out by Health Canada. We really are a purple organization and we really do work with all three environments. So you take something like the Navy and coming down, we have the Joint Service Support, JSS, we have AOPS, we have CSC coming through. All those projects are going to require us working with them, to, to test their equipment, to provide advice about radio frequency safety. Then of course you have the Air Force where they have the Sikorsky helicopters for the Sea King replacement. They also have fixed wing SAR. I'm sure they also have other projects coming down the pipe too. Uh, furthermore, with the Army, of course they're going to be upgrading their fleets over time and they're going to be upgrading their equipment too. Things like uh, electronic warfare for equipment it's time for us to evolve our counter IED equipment too. And so we need to make sure that all that new equipment is safe. Well, as a student, I always enjoyed the maths and the sciences. And uh, there's one day at school, I saw a poster of a, a girl fixing a bicycle saying, uh, you know, I want to be an engineer just like my mom. And it got me thinking. And so I started interviewing the parents of some of my friends who were engineers, asking them what they did for a living. How did they enjoy being an engineer? If they could do it all over again, would they still do it? And, and resoundingly, they said yes. They love their jobs. They love what they do. They would do it the same all over again. And that's really how I feel about my job as well. I love my job in radio frequency safety. Um, it's, it's thrilling. It changes all the time. It's a dynamic job and I work with very dynamic people.